how can you tell us an owl and not a hawk? Because you can certainly tell, I'm sure. Right? What, what tells you that an owl is an owl? We already talked about one thing. What do you see? They've got huge eyes, right? They've got those huge, usually yellow eyes, although sometimes they're, sometimes they're brown, um, depending on the species of owl. But they have these really huge eyes that face forward. It's one of the reasons that we think owls are wise, because their eyes look forward like ours do. Um, and, and what about owls? Are owls, are they colorful? Are they really like, are they pink and fluorescent green, <laughs> colors like that? No. They're usually kind of camouflaged colored. You know, if, you look at, if you look at this great horned owl wing, you can see how that, that would just blend in so perfectly with the surroundings. And when they fly, they make almost no sound. Listen, listen. Do you hear much? No. If I were doing that with a goose one, I wish I had a goose one here, it would go <laughs> But owls can't make a lot of sound or they'll never get anything to eat because for one thing, they're trying to sneak up on animals like mice that have very sharp hearing. And if they hear that, they're going to run away. And also, the owl's listening for the mouse. And if it makes a lot of noise, it's like if you're walking in the woods on a, in the fall when there's a lot of dry leaves, you make so much noise, you, can't, you, can't almost, you almost can't hear yourself think. And so the owls have to be silent so that they can hear their prey as well. So look at the surface of this, of this wing feather. See how so, feel that? Feel how soft and velvety that is. And the edges of the feathers are very, very soft. You see how they're, they're very fluffy on here? And, and this edge of the feather has almost like a comb-like structure. And all of that helps deaden the sound as the bird is flying. So the owls have really good eyesight. They've got huge eyes. I mean, if you look at this great horned owl skull, the size of the eye sockets there. If your eyes were as big in your head as this great horned owl's eyes are in its head, you would have eyes the size of grapefruit. And people would make fun of you. Good Lord. Um, but, you know, eyes are like windows. The bigger, the bigger a window is, the more light it is. It's like tiny and, and so it, it helps the owl see at night. And then also the owl has special cells in the, in the back of its eyes that help it see in the dark. It can, it can see in the dark on a, on a starlit night pretty much as well as we can. You put an owl in a completely dark room, no light at all, where its eyes do it no good at all, it could still catch a mouse. How could it find that mouse? Hearing. Exactly. Owls have incredibly good hearing. Now, if you think about like a great horned owl that has those little yeah. things sticking up over its head, are those ears? No. No. What are they? Tufts of feathers, exactly. And they're just there to help camouflage the bird so it can blend in with, with, the, with the surroundings. Its ears, if you look at a great horned owl, its ears are down here on the side of its head. They're just these little openings here. But with somewhat owls, they're really cool because their ears are in two different places on the side of their head. One ear is high up on the head and faces up. The other ear, <laughs> he said, catching his breath, is low on the head and faces down. Um, now, I mean, that would be kind of odd if you looked, if you walked up to a person, and like if you if you walked up to me and I said, "Hi, how you doing, Michaela?" Like, you know, and I've got one ear up here and one ear down here. You would probably, you know, kind of step away from me a little bit. But with a solid owl, that's completely normal. And they have their, their ears in different places like that because it actually helps them pinpoint exactly where the mouse is. They can hear and, and triangulate the sound much better with those. It's called asymmetrical ears. Um, mm. And they're one of the few owls that have really strongly asymmetrical ears like that. Um, their eyes, I said, I said before that their eyes are really quite large. And if you look, this is the little bony ring that goes around their eye that helps give it protection. It fits in that eye socket right there, like that. If we get a sawwood owl, I will actually be able to show you that ring on a live sawwood owl. Um, there's a way that I can, can actually show that to you without hurting the owl at all.